All right, yeah. so for those of you who are yeah. still a little bit confused, it's all right. I'm gonna draw the triangles up here and maybe that'll help. Remember yesterday, it's x and x for 45 and then x squared to two? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we don't have 45 and 45 yet. That's okay, we'll get there. The only thing is, like, this triangle's turned. It's the side that's across from the 30 that's the x. It's the side across from the hypotenuse that's the 2x. It's the side across from the 60 that's the x squared. Can you see? Okay, so BC is the side length, right? The only angle measure we know is 36. So is this my opposite, my adjacent, or my hypotenuse? Excuse me? It's the opposite because it's across from my 36. The other side, like they know, is my adjacent or my hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. So then, which trick function uses opposite and hypotenuse? Sine. Right, so then you know you have to use the sine to solve for that missing side length. You have to look at what you're looking for and what else you have. Label your signs opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. Okay, today we're going to do something a little bit different. So pay attention so that you know what's going on. I am going to give you, I'm going to try to pass this out while talking and see how this works. I'm going to give you, it's like a guided note sheet like we've done before, but instead of me standing up here talking at you for 20, 25 minutes, however long it takes me to get your notes, you're going to go around the room and find the notes yourself. So it's going to be kind of like a stations thing, but you're only going to have like three minutes at each station because there's not a whole lot of information. I don't think you need more than three minutes. So pay attention. I'm going to project groups, which you're not really working together, so don't freak out if not with the person you want to be with. I said maybe I think about it. This time I just didn't want, I didn't want it to be a time issue of trying to figure out groups. I need four to five people in each group, so I just did it. You're only going to be with them for a little bit of time, and you're not really working together. So, group one goes to station one first, group two goes to station two first, and so on. And the stations are legitimately going to look exactly like this piece of paper, except my writing is going to be on it. And you're going to take the notes and do some of the examples on your own or with your group if you want to work with people you're with. So, station one starts over on that cabinet. door, cabinet, thank you. I don't know why I couldn't move cabinet, yeah. Station two is above the thermostat by the door. Station three is up here. Station four is on that wall. Five is directly behind Conlin. And six is kind of by the accent sign. Alright, switch. You understand what you know this is like. 